Dzień dobry. From Bydgoszcz, the eighth biggest city in Poland, no less. Another quiet day. It's a city that is split in two. The river Bruder runs uh, straight through it and the old town is on the other side. I'm staying uh, on the east side and uh, apparently there's uh, quite a bit of street art around here. So the first thing I'm going to do is check out some of the street art and then head into the old town. Hopefully along the way I'll get myself some coffee. So I was just taking a photo of that first piece of street art and then some guy just uh, came up and started chatting to me and at first I thought he was the guy who checked me into the hostel and uh, it wasn't him at all, it was just some random guy. Um, it's quite funny because even when I say I don't speak Polish, I just speak English. Like people just carry on speaking Polish at me. Right, so the second piece of street art is uh, quite hard to get a look at because of all these trees. I think this is probably the best uh, position where I'm going to get a picture. That's all right. So something to do with a the theatre. I can't find any information online. I don't know if this is a theatre. Could be. Looks like a theatre entrance. Got a good feeling about the gush. Probably saying that wrong. Um, I don't know. It just seems to have a good vibe. We're not seeing much of it. Uh, I went out last night, but so I saw the inside of uh, many bars. But the, the old town looks nice. I'm looking forward to having uh, a wander around there uh, a bit later on today. I think I'm going to enjoy old Budgosh. So I'm just heading for the uh, next piece of street art. Just came across this little park, which is kind of cute. Look at that for a lovely bench. Nice little table to put your things, bin there to put your rubbish. Lots of these uh, monuments around. Ludomir Rojitsky. <laughs> Rojitsky. Composer. And Igor Stravinsky, who was a pianist. Uh, Debussy, another composer, and Johann Bach. Not sure what he's doing in there, maybe he uh, spent some time in old Big Gusht. available. A couple of books, a couple of CDs. Oh, some might see the electric light orchestra. Could do a tune up a little bit. Name that tune. It's a good idea in the uh, kids' playground to put these musical instruments in, get them uh, being creative at an early age. I didn't know about this park. Oh, it's nice, I like it. It's right next to the uh, music uh, academy, which is here. This is actually, I think, why I've got it on my map. Because I'm doing a little bit, obviously, looking at street art and stuff, and that's probably why this has come up. Um, there's a lot more to discover around here. That's why I like doing these trails. It doesn't really, even if you're not into street art or you know gnomes in Wrocław or 
uh, you know, various trails around cities, is it does get you about and into places where you wouldn't perhaps normally go. And you always find interesting stuff. So this is the Academy of Music, or Beethoven there. Some odd sculptures around here. This is a bloody big bugger. It's a big church. The size of the roof. Huge. Oh, I could have definitely missed that one. Next. Oh, this one wasn't even on my map, so this is a bonus. Right, so the one I am looking for is just to the left of this. Now that... It's very cool. Right, well, it's just started absolutely belting it down the rain and uh, got soaked, so uh, might have to cut this one short. Now, there are a couple of pieces of street art on this street, and this street just took me straight back to my hotel. So, I'm gonna head down there and see what it's like when I get to the hotel if it's still raining I'm gonna call it off for a while let's go and have a look Right, well, bang opposite my hotel, um, the Contemporary Art Museum. It's free admission, so I'm going to take a look. Sheltered from the rain in a nice little coffee shop. I've eaten some Zepia Kanka and uh, so now the uh, street art hunt continues. I'm certainly on the back streets of Big Gush now. And this is what I've come to look for. Kind of expecting this one to uh, not be here anymore. There seems to be a lot of uh, construction work around here and buildings being knocked down and stuff, but no, it's still here. Got a bit of a Escher vibe to this one. Well, in between street art murals, I've come across another lovely old church. Now, is it going to let me in? Nope. Try this one. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm sure you'll agree. That was a lovely old church. Not the comfiest place to sleep. 
well I've come off my route because uh, I spotted this old building here. I don't, know, I don't know what it is, I'm going to have to get to it. It certainly looks like an interesting place. It's abandoned by the looks of it. Mm, I can't get to it this way. It's a lot of abandoned buildings around here. A place over there called Propaganda. Looks like it might have been some club of some kind. It's quite a contrast. You've got this, all this kind of derelict area around here. And then just literally 50 metres away, you've got all these fancy bars. Not sure that was worth a 15 minute walk. <laughs> this is interesting though, there used to be something here. Well, that's faded through time. That's more interesting than uh, getting that one. Well, I couldn't resist without coming and having a look. Because the windows at the top look like uh, look quite new, but on the bottom floor, well, it's all caged up at the bottom. Parallel panels there. I'm intrigued. I need to find out what this place was. Well, I think that's it for the street art trail around the east side of the uh, river. I'm about to cross over now onto. Um, I think it's called Mill Island, I'm not sure about that. Um, so yeah, that'll be in a different vlog. Um, I've just come to this bridge, noticed this sign, Christoph Clinchen, and he was the composer, vo composer, vocalist and guitarist with Cherbona Guitar. Well, I don't know, I've got some of their stuff. They uh, started off in the 60s, very kind of Beatlesy in the 60s. Um, they're still around now, as far as I know. Um, but he was the main songwriter, I think, from what I can gather from, from this. And he was killed uh, by a drunk driver in 1981. And apparently there's a street named after him. And I'm presuming this bridge is named after him as well. Amazing what you come across, isn't it? <laughs>